Hello everyone, my name is Ajaj Patel and I am from webepub.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 8 of e-commerce website development in PHP with PDO. So in last tutorial guys, we create a include function and we create a separate separate section for the pages and in this tutorial we are we need some links inside our this body lab section so let's start just simply we are going to admin folder and open inc and open body lab folder oh sorry file okay inside body lab first of all we need the one text like uh, content just uh, open our main royal collection website and copy from there royal shop admin web pages okay just copy this okay not for copy this and paste it from here control s now come back to our admin panel refresh just because of it is a black color by default so it's not coming but you can look at this so we need to open our css file first of all we are changing the background of our body left and say 40040 refresh it okay look at this now nice looking very good now we need to format this so how can we do that just simply first of all we need to change the font family so font family will be verdana okay nice looking very good now we need to change the color and also background of our h3 tag so how can we do that just simply in side body left h3 then background will be has 800 zero zero, it's uh, sorry 80 zero, and color will be has fff refresh and check okay not a okay background is spelling is wrong I always do a spelling mistake okay look at this now now we need some height so give the height h e i g h t height will be around 30 pixel line height is also 30 pixel let's take a one refresh okay looking good but not perfect more height refresh it okay nice looking very good now we need to body radius it so a uh, border radius so say border radius 3 pixel refresh it now we need to center this tag so how can we do that simply we just write text align center refresh and check okay now it's looking very good and very beautiful now we need to create some li inside ul so just going to body left after h3 tag we create one ul tag inside ul we need some li inside li we use a a tag for hyperlink reference to redirect our user to next page Simply we write here home, just copy this, paste it from here and home now we need to view all categories, okay just copy this, control C, control V, view all subcategory. For now, we only need a tree. Okay, look at this. Now we need to format this. So, going to body left. Oh, sorry, CSS and say body left. Have some UL. 
then it's list style type will be none okay guys then after we use a body left ULLI just first of all check here okay now we then uh, we need a li height so first of all we change the background for understanding we say we need a background like uh, like uh, white fff refresh it okay look at this now we need to format this first of all we need to some spaces from this content management in our ul so how can we do that simply going to your body left ul and say margin top uh something like 10 pixel okay refresh it okay now it's looking very good now we need to give some height on our li so say h e i g h t and say 30 pixel of height refresh and check okay 30 pixel is coming now we need some margin okay we don't need margin simply we use line height property h e i g h t uh, 30 pixel just because of our main height is 30 pixel okay look at this now now it's very good and very perfect now we need to change the text color text inside a tag so we use simply just copy from here and paste it here and say a and then text decoration none refresh and check okay look at this underline is gone just because of text decoration none now the color will be has fff okay refresh it okay now we need to remove our white color from our ally so remove it refresh it okay look at this now now we need some padding from the left side of our a tag so we give simply padding from left side only oh, i think two percent is enough refresh it okay look at this two portion is perfectly coming now i will show you uh, when someone hover then this background color will be changed so how can we do that simply copy this paste it from here and hover property then we say background will be 80080 then refresh and check okay look at this our background is coming but the guys observe one more thing just look at here when we are hover on text then it's become a link but when we are click on here this is not a link so we need to change this background also in link so how can we do that just simply coming from here inside a tag we say display none so refresh and check again oh not a display none it's display block sorry for that refresh it okay look at this now now look at here it's also now a link when user click on here or here he also navigate to the direction of page so now we need to border radius so coming here border radius 3 pixel refresh okay look at this now but we need a uh, more padding so coming here i think 3 percent okay now it's looking very good so guys now we need to create a database so how can we create a database just simply write in your url localhost follow my step very carefully now look at here guys here are one option available php my admin so i am going to click it 
you need to also click that okay so this is our database section from the left side you can see all the database is available in our web server so i created some websites for look at here blogs then hindi then royal shop then taste then it's all are created by me so how can we create a new database so simply we just click on here also for new database and simply we clicked here also for new database so we are click on here now look at here here on option create a database so give the proper name like uh, i'm going to name give the name like uh, uh, online okay i'm giving the name like online store online store then create uh, just click on create okay look at here here are the folder available just because of we need uh, we here two data uh, two database with the same name like online store and online store hindi okay so our database is here online store click on it so you can find here here we you are creating a uh, you need to create a table some tables so let's create a table we create a main kit table for adding the category dynamically we need a two field here uh, two column we need two column here so just write two and click on go then here are the next screen is available for you that give the field of database a uh, table name so first will be category id and second will be category name okay guys then first will be integer because it is a category id id is always integer then after category name so it should be a where care or it should be a text so i'm using text i also give the length of 10 and cat name should be a hundred okay then scroll right then observe here here are one option option a underscore i which means auto increment so click on it and select primary click on it you are know about the primary key i think you are better understand what we are going to do we just create one table and give the category id primary key and auto increment okay just so simply save it so look at here our table are created now okay guys now we come back here and we need one database connection file to connect our website to this database this database okay guys so press control n we create a new file php then erase it all select a uh, write a php tag okay so save it first when uh, where we will save this file we will save this file our ad, uh, inside our admin folder and inside admin folder we have one folder inc we save this file here by giving the proper name like db.php save this file now uh, create one variable con you can write any name because it's a variable you can do any name but for understanding purpose i use con for connection so now i write new pdo because we use pdo so pdo then double quote then comma double quote comma and double quote so first will be our database name is my sql then it's uh, our host and host will be the local host because we are on offline server so we use here host then semicolon then here we need to give the name of our database so say db name 
what is our db name our database name is online store so we need to give name here on line underscore store okay the second will be for the directory or of user so directory will be by default root for now when we will upload this file uh, this website on online server then this localhost is change database name is also change it is also change and last one for the password it is for password so for now we are using a blank password when we upload this on online server then we set a password on it so guys this is about uh, how can we create a database connection for php in pdo and we can also create a database table and also we create these links so guys this is enough for today in next tutorial we create a category form and we create a one SQL query to insert our category dynamically from the database so for that tutorial stay connected with me guys and if you like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and one more thing guys don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel because it is very benefit for you for latest update of my channel so guys stay connected with me stay tuned thanks for watching goodbye